Good day and welcome. Our Bible scripture will be taken from Proverbs chapter 25 from verse 17 and I read from New International Version. It reads, Seldom set foot in thy neighbor's house. Too much of you and they will hate you. I take it again. Seldom set foot in your neighbor's house. Too much of you and they will hate you. The second Bible scripture we'll be reading for today is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. And it reads, And to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, you should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you. I read verse 12 of that scripture so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. I will read that scripture again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 from verse 11 to 12. It reads, and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, you should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. So my encouragement to you today is that, as the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, that we should we seldom set foot on our neighbor's house. This is just talking about relationships, how you can, you know, comport yourself in such a way that you will not lose respect of your neighbors, of your friend, of your spouse, of anybody. There should be boundaries when you are dealing with people. So my encouragement to you today is please seldom set foot on your neighbors in your neighbor's house. Seldom, you know, be in people's business. Just try to live, live a quiet life as it is encouraged in the book of in the book of Thessalonians, let to lead a quiet life. Don't be there when the, the latest just in town. This one is trending. I'm here. I'm there. You don't need to be everywhere. Just learn to be quiet and be able to mind your own business. And lastly, learn to work with your hands. Find something to do. There's a common saying that says, an idle man is the devil's workshop. It's a cliche, I think. But the truth there is that when we find ourselves doing things, we won't have time for frivolities. So let's get our hands working. Let's find something to do so that we can be productive, so that we'll not be dependent on other people, so that we can be able to, you know, not lack anything and earn respect. You know, if you have to depend on so so and so for this, you need uh, every for every little thing you have to call this person or call that person, you begin to lose respect. And even the Bible encourages us that we should keep our respect intact. So if there's anything you are taking from today's exhortation, is that you should, you know, comport yourself in a way that will make you earn respect from those around you. Have a nice day. Thank you for listening.